Well, hello. It is Sunday, ah, May 19th. Uh, technically, I guess this is the Saturday vlog, but I'm doing it on Sunday. <laughs> we are going to be talking about what I was doing on Saturday and the Saturday night sale, which I have all set up, ready to talk about. It was a mega sale. Woo! And um, what I ended up doing on Saturday, oh, I'm going to start this by saying no mail pickup. I did get one payment in um, and I just did not have time to go run to the post office, but that will be going out on Monday. Thank you for your payment. And um, so I spent a lot of time on Saturday. Um, I've done, I've done little tours of the Harry Potter closet. And as you walk in, there's not a lot of room. So I have a tall cabinet on one end. On one wall, I have, on the back wall, I have three built-in shelves. And then I have on the close-up wall, a little two-shelf uh, two cabinet. And um, on that two-shelf cabinet, on the, I guess it's a three, three shelf cabinet because then there's the top. Um, but on the two shelves, I, I have been keeping the items that I list on eBay. Um, plus a couple of items I need to do a little work on before I either sell them on eBay or bring them to a live sale. So got projects and eBay on that shelf. Then um, I have that tall cabinet and I decided on the tall cabinet, which I have part eBay and then just stuff that I was going to go ahead and clear that cabinet out. Now, some things I'm not going to be bringing to the live sale and I have those in a hold area and I'm making myself a deal. They cannot go back into the closet until they get listed. <laughs> we'll see if it's out and in my face and not tucked away in a closet. Will I get to it sooner? Will I get to it today? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. I need, I need to do packing and invoicing, which is usually the case. And on Monday, I have to set up for the mega Disney sale. Yep, that's going to be happening Monday for the lunchtime sale. Um, so that is going to be fun. But it's going to cut my time a little short on Monday um, with everything that I need to get done. So probably not on Monday either. Let's see how we do on Tuesday. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. Uh, so that cabinet, aside from some candles, which now it is officially too warm in most of the country to for me to comfortably ship candles. So I'm going to put those on hold until probably fall. So that space is kind of used for that. Um, but yeah, that's what's happening with that cabinet. And then next weekend, which I know is Memorial Day weekend, um, I'm going to be doing another solo sale. So I do have plans to clear off those back shelves, um, bring the items to the sale, items that I'm not going to bring to the sale. Yep, I'm going to pull out they can't go back into the closet until I get them listed. Um, so that's the mindset I'm in right now. <laughs> we'll see how that works, but that is the plan. Um, so I did spend time doing that. I did um, also, yeah, like I said, kind of organize some things for the Disney sale, get that set up. Um, plus the Saturday night sale, when I do the mega sales, they do take a little longer to set up. Um, I brought 60 items to the sale 
And um, yeah, it takes just a little extra time to get them organized, a little extra time to get everything written on my sheet so that I can follow it during the sale and I can follow it after the sale. And if anybody watches the sale after the sale and would like to purchase something, then I can find it easily on my sheet. Um, what else did I do? I feel like there was something else that I did. Yeah, whatever that other thing was that I did, I have unfortunately forgotten. <laughs> but there was something else that I did. Well, anyways, it was a busy Saturday. It was good. It was very productive. Um, I, well, I also did a load of laundry. So yay, applause. Insert applause right there. <laughs> I did. I did a load of laundry. Um, yeah, important, important to have, you know, clean clothes to wear. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, I have got everything set up and I think, I think I have talked about everything that I need to talk about. Um, oh, no mail. Right. I did the no mail. Um, the Monday sale. Yes. All right. Oh, and of course, I will be doing my Monday evening sale, which I do every week with Jen. Uh, so mark that down. I will be reminding you during the Disney sale on Monday that I do also do a Monday evening sale that starts at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 Central. And Jen and I do that every week. Um, Is it on my channel this week? Uh-oh. Do I need to send out some links? Ooh, <laughs> put that on the to-do list. Yeah, I'm sure I do. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about the sale. Uh, and a big thank you um, to, to everybody who showed up. Um, it was a little smaller crowd than I was hoping for. I'll be honest, I'll be honest. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was unfortunate. It was a fantastic group of people who did join me. Uh, so thank you all so much uh, for coming. I I truly appreciate um, all of you who took time out um, to join me on Saturday. For those of you watching on the replay, thank you. Um, I know it's a late night sale. Um, I know it gets late. Um, but I truly do appreciate everybody who um, takes the time out and comes and joins me. And, and a special thank you to Annie P. You are awesome and I appreciate you. Uh, as I mentioned, I brought 60 items to the sale. Next week's sale is also going to be another solo sale and another big mega sale. So it's going to be a blast. Uh, I sold 14 items. Let me do the math really quick. So that means that 46 items are still available. Now I know a lot of these items, some of them are very high end. Um, I think that they are, are worth more. And when I get them listed on eBay, yeah, they will be starting at a much higher price. I do truly try to give you guys the best bargain, um, you know, based on costs and my costs. Um, and yeah, try to give you guys the absolute best deals I can on these items. Um, but I realize my sales are small. I don't have, um, you know, all the people there with all the different interests. Um, so that's why I do need to list on eBay and Poshmark and everything um, so that these items can go find loving new homes. And um, yeah, and then I have space to bring in some more items. All right, we are gonna start with um, let me flip this camera around. Um, we're gonna start with an item. There we go, this item. Uh, and as soon as I talk about it, I will go ahead and insert 
um, some footage that I took on this item to show that it does have a greenish glow. Now it's not like a bright uranium glow, but there is a really cool glow to it. Uh, this, I have not been able to identify the specific maker of this. It is an older piece and it is a larger piece. This was a seven inches from end to end. So here's my hand. It is a very large candy dish. It does have, let me move this around. It does have two small flaws on it right there. There is a little piece of very thin glass that helps to hold the lid on. There is one little chip out of that side and nope oops nope going the wrong way and is it this side nope the other one is really hard to find i think it is right there there is another tiny chip out of that little piece uh this is forty dollars and it does have the daisy and buttons pattern on the bottom also um, all right, so I am going to, I'm going to stop here so I know where to insert the footage to show you the glow, and then we're going to continue with the rest of the items. All right, the next item is this one gallon jar, um, Tom Houston coconut huts, and somebody put on a butter churn. So a homemade device with the butter churn in the one gallon jar of coconut huts. Uh, that is $55. Uh, I have these beautiful Airte plates. I have three of them here. Uh, they are, oh, let me get the names of these. Uh, they are $45 each, and I have three of them. And they are cobalt blue glass with the silver. It says, do not use these for food use. Uh, this one is the, no, she is applause. I remember her. She is applause. This one is the firebird. And this one is starstruck. So beautiful cobalt blue glass plates with the wonderful Art Nouveau Erte style that is E R T E with the little a little fancy mark. So forty five dollars each for those plates. Um, I'm gonna take a little detour and come right over here to this amazing wood carved mask. Um. Could be Mexico, could be Central or South America. This is carved out of one single piece of wood. And I'll show you how dimensional it is. This is amazing. Uh, no signature on this piece. And I'll put my hand here so you can see one to about two and a half hands. 
And here is the back to show that that is one single piece. And that is $200 for that gorgeous piece. All right, I am going to put that down on the floor here as gently as I can. Yep, I'm going to put the bubble on top. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to follow my list so I don't um, get too out of place. All right, uh, next up is a set of four uh, martini glasses. These are large, 10 ounce glasses. So they are huge. They're by Mikasa. They have never been out of the box for use. And I do have the lid to the box right there. And they are $30 for the set of four martini glasses. And again, those are 10 ounce glasses. All right, I need to put this on the floor. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, next up is this amazing Mother of Pearl Dragon. Now, I know my lighting and everything was not showing this piece off um, to the best of its ability. It is black lacquer. It is large. It is 24 inches long by 16 inches. So it is crazy long. I'll try to get in here so you can see it and not me and the camera because you want to be able to see all of that beautiful mother of pearl in there and that lovely shimmer. And I'll hold out here so you can see the whole image. Uh, that is $50 and there is a hook on the back. Uh, so you can hang that. Um, all right. Next item. Let's see. There, there, there. Okay. Um, next up, we've got the nesting dolls. These are uh, Russian, but they are in an Inuit um, Eskimo style. They are beautifully decorated and they are nesting dolls. There is a little seam. Oops. There's a seam right there so they can all nest together. But they are so nicely painted. Even the teeny, 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 tiny little one. And that is 75 for the set. Uh, this lovely little box here from Japan has a set of Kagami crystal goblets. They are cut to clear. And I'll put my hand, well here, I'll pick one up. There you go, in my hand so you can see how big that is. And there is the Kagami crystal sticker on them. And those are 150 for the pair. And yep, they're going to come in that nice little box. Uh, let's see. Next, we will do this. This is a stone carved candle holder from Morocco. And the design is also on the other side. So it holds three candles, stone carved from Morocco. That was $32. And then behind that, which I'm going to go ahead and move that right there. Uh, then I have this, which is technically a piece of art by Donna Pritchard. It is $30 and it's a fun um, bottle full of beads. Now, if you are a crafter and you would like to use these beads for your crafting, well, you have now a fun bottle that you can fill with 
marbles or um, shells or something to continue displaying, but you get to use all of the beads in there. And that is $30 for that piece. And then, oh, making sure I'm not missing anything on my list because there's, there's a lot to go over. I wanna make sure I get everything. All right, this is Mexican pottery. Um, in the Tanala Tonala style. It is a um, five piece um, server, you know, veggie dip, chip and dip, cheese, all that good stuff, fruits. Uh, that is $40 for the set. Uh, this is a mask that is a King Island Good Shaman mask. And I was showing last night how King Island is way off the coast of Alaska, kind of in the middle of nowhere, very close to Russia. <laughs> and on the back, this was purchased at the Alaska Museum Shop. This is from the World Traveler Estate. I believe that they probably picked this up in the 70s, maybe early 80s. George Penatak is the artist and he wrote on the back there, King Island, a good shaman mask. And that is $30, $30 for the mask. Uh, then a set of bowls. I do want to point out right here and right here. The middle bowl has a little split in it, just, just right on those edges. Let me show you. It doesn't go down into the bowl. It's just on the edge. Uh, but this lovely three-piece bowl set. There we go. Beautiful bowl set. Uh, that is $35. All right. Then we've got a spode a pair of spode teacups and saucers. This is in the dewberry pattern. It's got beautiful pink roses on it. And so that is Copeland Spode Made in England Dewberry. And that's $30 for the set. Um, I did not show last night how the orb sits on the stand, so I thought I would go ahead and show that off. This is a really cool ceramic orb from Mexico, and that is a $35, and it's about six or six and a half inches across. Uh, then we've got the wood doll set. So we have Rebecca Bowman right here with the baby carriage, Edward Bowman with his fishing pole, and Shirley Bowman, foot, big football fan, ready to, to cheer on the team. Those are um, all wood bodies, and they are $25 each. Uh, a beautiful portrait plate. This is a transfer. Really gorgeous. It is by Empire China. And that is $22. Uh, this is a glass server. It is white, pink with a clear um, glass on top to form that handle, and it is hand painted. And that is uh, $25. All right, I am going to, hang on, I'll be right back. All right, uh, up next, I needed to move the, the dragon uh, picture. This is a 1970 calendar, and it depicts um, hunting scenes from the kind of early uh, 1600s, they followed a guy. I'll, I'll show you his name. They, um, some artist, I guess, 
followed him around um, showing different hunting techniques and their trips over a, what was it, a seven year period? But I'll, the pictures are pretty graphic, so I'm not going to show them, but I will show a couple that aren't quite as graphic. And then down here, it does show that this was Duke Johann Casimir of Saxe Coburg from 1639 to 1646. And there were 39 in all, but 12 of them have been selected uh, for this calendar. And that is $20. And then I have this, um, ma I guess, magazine. It is the, there it is, the Gleason's Pictorial Drawing Room Companion. So a little more like a book, but it, it was like the magazine of the day. This is from um, 1854. And the president right before Lincoln was named Franklin Pierce. And this is an article about him. Um, this is the town in New Hampshire that he came from, where he was born, um, his residence, his uh, first law office, his like second, I guess, law office, I guess right before he became president, and his residence. He was a one-term president, and uh, so this is an article about him, 1854, which makes it 170 years old, beautifully framed uh, to protect it, and that is um, $20.00. All right, I am going to move that out of the way so I can push this in and get to the other items here. Uh, let's see, we did the portrait, we did that. Oh, next up here is the condiment server, the very fancy condiment server. It does have slots for your spoons. You move the handle and it raises the lid up and down. It's a beautiful shell shape. These come right out so you can clean them easily. No chips or cracks on that. And that is uh, $26. Then uh, still in its original box, I have the shoehorn and brush in the horse theme. There is a um, horse, horseshoe shaped holder here. And there is the box. This was made in Hong Kong. And that is a $25. And then we've got, oh, the perfume. Revlon Intimates, four ounce bottle, still in its plastic seal. No barcode, so probably early 70s on that. Uh, $22 for that. Uh, this vase kind of reminds me of a glass of like Coca-Cola. Uh, I'm not sure, let me see in this lighting. I couldn't quite get the, the kind of gold speckles in it to show. There you can kind of see a little bit more of the gold speckles in there. There's bubbles, black, gold, and kind of a red and an orange in here that create the design. Beautiful blue. And it is really sturdy. Like when it's down, it's it's down. It doesn't wobble or anything. They did a great job on that. Uh, $20 for the vase. Uh, then this ornament, let me move, oops, move that out of the way for a sec. This is really large. It is four inches across. It has um, the hook right here. 
white and brown and you can see a little bit of green and kind of a bluish color in here also but it is very big four inches across and that is $18 uh, next is this George Davidson art deco bowl uh, he, I guess, was very famous for this design. He did it a lot in a lot of different colors. It is hard to believe this is glass because uh, it just doesn't quite look like glass. There is a chip on the bottom. I want to show that to you right there, a little chip on the bottom. And this is $18. All right, next is the Staffordshire, England three-section server. Uh, those flowers are hand-painted, and uh, that is made in England. Uh, $16 on that. And then this beautiful necklace and earring set right there on top. Those are the two earrings. They are post earrings and all of those beautiful aurora borealis rhinestones that is about an i think it's a 20 inch necklace uh, that is 22 dollars for the earrings and the necklace uh, this lovely three-piece set it is a teacup saucer and then serving plate for breakfast, lunch, snack. It is in the uh, pink dogwood pattern and it is by Selb, S-E-L-B, Bavaria. That is $15 for the set. Uh, and then I have this set of three. They are 15 by 12 in the frame. And let's see, I'm probably gonna have to turn them up to get that light to stop glaring. A uh, dated 1989, three cross stitch angels. They are $15 each. They each have the same matting color. And, um, oh, the, they are all framed at 15 by 12. So that is the first one. Here is the second one. And beautifully cross-stitched, $15 each, 15 by 12, and they all have the same matte color, and they're all dated 1989. And then there is this one. Oh, I could have left that one there. Well, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Uh, then I have, oh here, we'll move, we'll move this one over so you can see it a little easier. Uh, this, uh, someone took the paper dolls JP Buster, matted and framed them. So you get to enjoy the little paper dolls at any time you want to, because you can put them right on the wall. Um, very nicely finished. And this is $12 for the JP Buster Paper Dolls. Uh, the perfume bottle. Here, let me move that because we're getting a little shadow there. This is a frosted glass perfume bottle. Blue rhinestones, a little bit of blue enamel, silver tone crystal on the lid and then it does have a glass dauber there it is glass dauber on the inside and that is sixteen dollars all right then i have these two pieces they are twelve dollars each mounted on wood little fabric back and yeah old pop can uh, lids for the hangers little patchwork elephant shipping 
or fish shipping. <laughs> no, I'm the one shipping. He's fishing. <laughs> uh, this is by Thayer. Where does it say it? Oh, right there. It says Thayer. And these are $12 each. And then here is the little um, patchwork duck in the rain. There it says Thayer. So $12 each on those. Uh, this is Madame Roche's. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. R-O-C-H-A-S. This is Cologne. Partially used bottle. This is also Madame Roche's. This is a travel bottle. Yes, it does still need to be rinsed out, uh, but it is a, a dab on travel bottle. And it, I have to say, after watching Downton Abbey, I would say this is how probably those women smelled. Um, it is a lighter, slightly floral scent. It's not strong. Um, it's not woodsy or musky or anything like that. It's not super flowery. It's just, it's a light floral scent. And yeah, for some reason, after watching Downton Abbey and smelling that, I went, yeah, I'll bet that's what they smell like. Uh, but that pair is $12. Uh, then I have a green stone angel. So that is carved out of stone. I don't know what kind of a stone this is, but a beautiful little angel, uh, $12 for the angel. And then a little stone carved kitten out of a blue. I, I don't know a lot about stones. I know the word lapis. I've gotten that far to remember that one. I think this is lapis. There's a little bit of like a red in there, a little gray. And that is $12. Uh, this is a Navajo piece with a Coco Pelli on it. Some kind of a, I don't know, stone? Uh, dated on the back, 2002, initialed GB. And that is $12. Uh, this beautiful necklace and earring set, silver tone and black. And that is a $16 for the set. And then this is an angel light. I do have the light on so you can see she's got a bit of a glow to her. Beautiful bisque. And she lights up really pretty. And uh, she is $15. All right, that is everything that is still available for sale. Uh, if you see something that you are interested in purchasing, feel free, send me an email or leave a comment down below and I will let you know if it's still available. All right, we are going to go over and look at the items that sold. Okay, I am over here at the table now and uh, we're going to go over the 14 items that sold plus some additional sales that I had. So let's there we go, we're flipping that around. And up first, oh, this is one of my favorite pieces that I brought. It is an agate slice that is hand painted with that beautiful deer scene. And, and this is a big piece. Here's my hand. That is a big slice. Uh, that one was, uh, went for $40. Uh, oops, I gotta switch my paper over here. Uh, this, I believe, is Nicaraguan. It is a pottery piece, and each little section here has a different animal on it. 
It is so well done. Oh, I love this piece. And uh, that was a $32. Then the wood carved giraffe with, um, with baby, and that was 28. The uh, dolphin, beautiful wood carved dolphin, uh, that was 30. An oil lamp. I unfortunately don't have the top or the wick for the oil lamp, um, but this is by Roger Vines, and it is signed and dated 92 on the bottom. That was a 26. Then this wonderful mid-century modern style um, articulated. You can move this around and have it do all kinds of configurations. A six candle holder, that was 25. Uh, this beautiful gold tone and blue and clear necklace and earring set. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Uh, 18 on that. An unopened geode. Exciting, and that's a, that was a good sized geode, and that is unopened, and that was a 16. Then I had this flame and glow vase, very delicate. Uh, that was a 16. The uh, sterling necklace and beautiful heart shaped pendant. Uh, 16 on that. The ceramic rolling pin. Uh, 20 on that one. The brooch. The lovely blue and green uh, gold tone brooch. That one was 14. The anchor hawking red glass sherberts. $10 for the pair. And then these fun optic ones, uh, that is Turkish. Yeah, a Turkish company made those, and they were $10 for the pair. Uh, I also had a Poshmark sale, which is this hand incense burner and white sage incense. And then from previous sales this week, the Escape from the Museum game that sold, the New York City puzzle, and this unopened package of red ribbon. Um, so those all, all also sold. All right. Whew. That was a lot of talking just like last night. That was a lot of talking. Nobody needs to hear me talking for that long. <laughs> Um, uh, all right. My next steps today, um, I will be going outside and doing the short on the uh, progress of the flowers out front. The irises are looking spectacular. Oh, you're going to love seeing them. Um, the peonies have opened, although I will say the two peonies that were in bloom last week, I cut those and gave those to my mom for Mother's Day, but the other two are opened. The third one, which was the fifth one, had not yet opened. I'll see if it's open today. Yeah. <laughs> the lilies are coming along great. And yes, the yellow calla lily, which I have been hinting at for the past, what, eight weeks now? <laughs> Finally. Finally, the yellow calla lily is starting to wake up. Uh, so yeah, so watch for that. In, um, today, I will put that out. Um, I think you'll enjoy that. Um, I, yeah, I got to get all of these items wrangled in. Uh, so I've got some area. Yeah, because they're not going back in the Harry Potter closet unless I know for sure this was like the first time I had brought them to a sale so I will be bringing them back. But other items I've had at several sales now, 
last time they're going in the boxes and they're not going back in the closet until they are listed. Um, so I will get the counter organized that way. The table, well, all of these items, the sold items, well, they need to go upstairs um, so I can get them organized by person and I can um, then pack and invoice the rest of the day. As I come down um, for, of course, food for the cats, water for me and food, and I, you know, make my little trips up and down, um, I do then grab a few items to set up on the table for the morning sale. I will be setting up my 15 items for the Monday night sale also, and I am going to be sending out the links right as soon as I'm done with this. Uh, but that is going to wrap it up for me. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this, um, yeah, give yourself a round of applause. This was quite a long vlog for today. Uh, but I will get this uploaded so you can watch it um, on Sunday if it's convenient, Monday um, if that's more convenient for you. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you Monday morning for the Mega Disney Sale.